Welcome to Boxing Breakdowns, brought to you by Box Rope. Today, you're gonna learn that classic pressure Mexican style like Julio Cesar Chavez and Canelo Alvarez. In a world of warriors, one style reigns king. Brace yourself for the Mexican boxing revolution, where every fight is a battle and every battle is a legendary tale etched in the blood, sweat, and glory of the ring. The Mexican style of pressure fighting is characterized by the relentless pressure of forward movement. Here are some key techniques associated with this style. The first thing we need to cover to be a good pressure fighter is our stance. We are going to open our stance so we're a bit more squared up. A more squared up stance is gonna allow us to do a few things. When we pressure our opponent, they're gonna try to move away and this squared up stance is gonna allow us to cut off the ring a little easier. It's also gonna put both our hands in position to be power punches. The next thing we need to cover is my posture or more importantly, where do I put my weight? Now, a lot of the classic Mexican fighters like Canelo Alvarez and Chavez, they have their weight a bit more to the front foot at times, right? Where my head is over my front knee, it's not way over my foot or farther, it's over my front knee. And you can see from here, my back is in line with my back leg. And this is gonna allow us to be ready to move forward, whether we're using our feet or our explosive punches. Next, we need to tuck our chin low so we're a smaller target and keep our hands up. Now, fighters like Canelo will often use that high guard and make themselves a small target. And that way it's a little easier to slip and to roll and also explode with power shots. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. on the other hand would have his hands a little bit lower because he would bob and weave a little bit more still with his chin down, but this would give him a bit more versatility to slip left and right and bob underneath. And then when the time is right, he's throwing those big counters over top to the head and to the body. If we wanna be a good pressure fighter, we have to be good at walking our opponent down. Now, what does that mean, walking our opponent down? That means we literally have to step to our opponent and force them back, force them against the ropes where they have less options. So we're gonna have our good Mexican style posture with our hands up and our weight on our front leg. We are going to walk them down, front foot first, and then the back foot's gonna follow just like that. The goal is to get them stuck on the ropes where they have less options, where we could land those big classic Mexican body shots and those vicious overhands and uppercut. Now that we've put that forward pressure on our opponent, they're gonna wanna escape. And this is where we use our wide stance to our advantage. This is gonna help us move laterally when they try to escape on the ropes and allow us to cut them off and put us in a position where we can really sit down and land those big power shots. Now we need to do the most important thing if we wanna be a good pressure style fighter like Canelo Alvarez and Julio Cesar Chavez, we have to cut off the ring. Now, what does cutting off the ring mean? We have to make the ring smaller. For us to really cut off the ring, all I have to do is move my feet in a V pattern on these diagonals. So if I move forward, my opponent goes that way, I go cut him off and that's my first part of the V. He goes this way, I slowly cut him off and moving forward at the same time. Now he has less options. Now his back is closer to the ropes where I could really find him and sit down on those punches. The next thing we need to do if we're gonna be a good pressure fighter is we have to have solid defense. You see, our opponent is gonna get sick of us pressuring them and they're gonna wanna punch us back and give us something to make us back up. One of the ways we can defend punches while we're moving forward is like Canelo Alvarez. He has a great active guard. Now, what does that mean? It means his hands are up, but he's not just eating shots on the guard like that, getting disrupted and taking damage. He's ready to catch the jab. He's ready to catch the hooks on the guard, to pull, to slip. He's ready to roll. He's ready to attack at any time and to really use his guard to counter his opponent. The other way we can defend punches if we're walking our opponent down is more like Julio Cesar Chavez. He wouldn't have his hands too high and he would use more of a bobbing, weaving, low style defensive maneuvers where he's ready to slip left, right, roll under. He would use the slipping side to side and bobbing underneath to make his opponent miss and make him pay with big counter punches. Now that we've covered our stance, footwork, 
and our defense to be a good pressure fighter we got to put it all together now let's start by moving forward with our active high guard like canelo catching the jab catching the cross rolling the hooks and even pulling back. Now we're gonna cut off the ring in our V diagonal drill, but we're gonna use our head movement and defense like Julio Cesar Chavez with our slipping, rolling and bobbing and weaving underneath punches. Now that we've walked down our opponent and we've gotten to him with our feet and we've used that slick Julio Cesar Chavez defense and that Canelo active high guard, what punches do we throw? Now, the easy way to think about this, if I slip to my right, I'm loaded to throw my right hand in some way. I could throw the cross, I could throw the overhand, I could throw the uppercut to the body, the hook to the body. If I slip to my left, I'm loaded with the left. I can go with that liver shot, I can come up to the head with the hook, I could shoot that uppercut, I could even explode and throw that gazelle hook like Mike Tyson. Same thing when I'm rolling or bobbing and weaving. If I roll to my right, I'm loading for a right punch. And if I go to my left, I'm loaded for a left punch. Both are effective and both are needed if we're gonna be a pressure fighter and move forward to win the fight. The Mexican fighters have heart, yes. They have a never back down style, yes. But they also have intelligent pressure fighting they're not just moving forward taking unnecessary damage if you want more breakdowns like this make sure to subscribe to box rope and let us know what styles and techniques you want us to break down next